The new 3D painting features of Procreate are amazing, and in this video I will show you how to paint on a 3D sneaker in Procreate 5.2. Before we begin, you can download the 3D sneaker file and the color palette via the link in the video description below. If you like my videos, you can support me and access even more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon page. You can check it out via the link I added below as well. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. Let's go ahead and open Procreate. Then we need to import the model that we're gonna paint. So let's click import button here in the corner and select USDZ file that was attached in the video description. I think these white converse sneakers look very realistic and it would be very nice to paint on white fabric. Let's check what we have in the layers. Both objects are located on one layer, including all elements, but it's totally fine, we will find a way to paint them step by step. Before painting, I'd like to do this. Let's rotate them this way so we can see the laces. After that I will go to selection and pick automatic mode without color fill option. I will start tapping on the laces to get them selected, including these two on the sides. And we can see that they were selected on the second shoe as well. Now I'd like to save this selection and for that I will tap save and load and then on the plus icon. The first selection has been saved and we can use it later. Now I'd like to do the same with the logo. Let me rotate it very carefully so I can see it. Then I will go to selection again and use it in automatic mode. In 3D canvas there is no way to adjust the selection threshold. So we can just tap on all areas inside the logo until it is fully selected. Then I will click save and load again and then on the plus icon we will get the second selection saved. Finally we can proceed to painting. First I'd like to create a new layer. This is what I usually do in 2D paintings as well. This way we will keep the original shoes. Then I will go to the color palette and view it in cards mode. This is a very cool new feature of Procreate where we can see the names of the colors, so it will be very easy to determine them. And first I will select cyan. In the brushes I will go to spray paints and pick medium nozzle brush. This time we will be using only default Procreate brushes. Let me rotate the sneakers. So I want to start painting from this side. And I will set the size of the brush to around 15 or 16 percent. Start painting this area. Not pressing too much on the pencil and working this way. We can paint on the laces because we will clean them very fast in the end. Now I'd like to switch to dark blue color and paint here on top. Then I will go with magenta pink and continue painting here. Let's try to switch to yellow green and go a little down. Then I will go to the right and select green color. You can totally use these colors or any others however you want. Just make a colorful background. For the future illustration. Let me paint it here at the bottom. We can even rotate it a little, so we don't have any white gaps. And after that I will select dark cyan color. Lower the brush size a little and paint on these areas. We can even try to lower the opacity of the brush to make gradients. I will paint here a little and I think this side is done. I will continue rotating it to paint the back side. Here I will first continue with magenta pink, increase the size back again and go to the right. I will make it full opacity. 
to paint faster. Then I will switch to cyan color and paint here. Go a little down and make sure we don't have any white gaps. Then I will switch to dark blue and continue painting. Maybe here add some spots to make it look cool. Let me paint on this side and then I will rotate it even more so we can paint bigger areas. Here I will select dark cyan color to paint at the bottom. We can also paint on the logo because we have the selection saved. All right. We need to find the good position to paint inside so the second shoe doesn't disturb. So let me now go with yellow green and paint here. I will try to paint a bigger area and then switch to green. First paint on top of it and then at the bottom. making gradients and then continue to go forward. We can see these areas under the laces that we also need to paint. So let me select color right from here, make the size small and paint it this way. There is also another white line so I will paint it from the other side. Now it is totally fine. Let me paint this white area here. Now we can paint the frontal area. Here I will start with this blue-green color. And first paint on top. Go down. And in the end switch to green. To paint here. I will work on this edge and now we need to clean it up. Let's paint these white areas and whatever we see that needs to be adjusted. Alright, I think it is fine now. Now we can clean it. First I will get rid of the color on the laces. And if you remember, we have the selection. Let's go to find it. So I will click on save and load. And pick the selection. It will be active now. After that I will slide three fingers down. And click cut. We will get pure white laces. Now let's do the same with the logo. That we also have saved. Let's go to selection and load it. After that slide three fingers down and also cut. Here I will be using eraser because these parts are big and we can do it very fast. I will be using eraser set to soft brush that can be found in airbrushing. I will be adjusting the brush size and going along the edges to erase the color. I will try to be careful and not erase the fabric. Now let's work here and also erase it very carefully. I'll continue rotating it and go into the side. It is almost ready. Okay, let's check how it looks now. We have prepared the background and finally we can draw the illustration. Let's check what we have in the layers now. This is our color and I think I will continue drawing on the same layer. It is fine. I will just change the color into black and also go to brush library. Here I will select mercury brush from inking and make the size low. Somewhere between 1 and 2%. 
this brush is very pressure sensitive so we can draw these circles around the holes and adjust the thickness of the brush by pressing more or less on the pencil. I'm not using quick shape tool here because I'd like to make these lines a little messy. First I'm drawing around the holes. Let me move it this way. So I don't paint on the laces. Ok, now let's go to the opposite side and do the same. Here I will also rotate it. Like this. Now let's turn it this way and continue painting on this side. I'd like to turn these holes into flowers. So I will here draw some simple stems. They may go as one line or two. Here I will even draw the leaves of very simple shapes like ovals, then another stem. And here I'd like to draw a flower. So I will first add the petals. They may have different shapes and different sizes. And then I will draw the stem as well. And then a leaf. Now let's add some colors. So first I will select yellow green. And increase the brush size. I will paint inside the petals. And try not to paint on black lines, because we have it on one layer. Well, I will paint here and also on these leaves. And then I will switch to dark red. Also add this color. Let's try to paint here. After that I will pick this light grey. That is actually the base color of the shoes. I will add it quickly on some areas. Here. So we get these cartoony shapes. Ok, now I'd like to draw a simple cute butterfly. But I will be doing it on a separate layer. Let's create it above this one. And go back to black. First I will create the outlines. Let's keep the size small. And first draw an oval. Then I will draw the wings. That will go this way. And then to the opposite side. Let's draw these two cute shapes. Then I will make two lines inside the body. Draw two cute eyes and a smile. Here we can add circles or some other pattern if you wish. If you want to move it, we can go to transformation. But the menu will be different. We can use the pencil to move it. But we can scale it only using the fingers. And adjust the location. I will rotate it this way. And then color it. First I will pick light grey color. And drag it on the wings. After that I will pick magenta pink. And drag it on the body, on these two parts. I think we can add some colors here inside the circles. I will start with yellow green and paint this way. After that, I will select dark red. 
and paint more. Just keeping it as simple as I can. But still making it cute. Ok, now this butterfly is ready. I just want to add a few final touches. So let's select light grey color again. And create a layer below the butterfly. Then I will go to water set and select water flicks. Let's adjust the brush size. I think around 4 or 5% will work. I will just make a stroke around the butterfly. And maybe one more. When the illustration is ready, I think we can merge these three layers. And I'd like to adjust the saturation just a tiny bit to make it a little brighter. Maybe I will set brightness to 51% and saturation to 55, so it's not too bright but also not too dark. We can also play around with the background. It can be found in actions in the 3D section and it is called edit lighting and environment. In the environment section, we can switch between different backgrounds and pick the color that you like. Also, we can adjust the location of the light sources and add more of them. If you are happy with the result, we need to save the work. And we can do it in a few ways. First, it can be saved as an image. So we need to pick the angle of how we want to see it. After that, go to Actions and share. Here I will select PNG and save the image. After that we can view it in the gallery. Another option is to save it as animated MP4. I will select square and then switch from rotation to swing. Also increase the duration and reduce the zoom distance. Now let's try to export it. And save the video. After that we can also view it in the gallery. You can share it on Instagram and other social media in both ways. Just don't forget to tag me if you do it. Another cool feature of Procreate is that we can view the object in AR. It is also here in 3D. AR mode allows you to view your object in real time with your iPad's camera. You can place the model on your armchair and see how it looks there. This is a fun feature and it gives you an idea if you need to see your artwork in real life. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. You can also access more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.